Hello, my name is Christian from TradeVola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to discuss a new topic, dividends. First of all, we want to explain what are dividends, which stocks are paying dividends, and also all other things which are related to dividends like tax and uh, what else you need to know before you start investing in stocks and receiving dividends. If you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos, just subscribe here to our channel. You can also leave a like and a comment. We would be very happy and try to answer everything as soon as possible. But now we want to have a look at the screen and start with the explanation about dividends. Yeah, dividend is at the end the sum of the money what is paid regularly by a company to its shareholders and it's out of its profits or reserves. It's a very simple definition of dividends and I think what we need to know or what you need to know before you start with dividends is there's a normally quarterly amount what we have here in our radar screen, what will be paid by the company every quarter. Then we have a percentage, what is here, yield of the whole annual, of the whole year of the dividend. And then you will see what will be paid next quarter here. And very important is the ex -div day, uh, ex dividend date means on this day you need to have or before the day starts the stock in your portfolio for example if we check it here for let's make this example whale s a um, it comes with the next div day on the 14th march 2023 means if you have before this day starts the stock in your portfolio you will get paid 35 cents per share for the date of the 29th of March. So the day when you want to have it or when you have to have it in your account and the day of the payout is always different. It's very important. You can see sometimes it's only two weeks. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But in this overview with the TradeStation platform, we see quite good in a simple overview what is the ex div day and when it will be paid out and also what is the yield. We have here very interesting companies with a quite high percentage. If you can see here, there's even the symbol PBR, what is the Petrolio Brasileiro company with 70% dividend. Now you will think it's a quite high amount um, and it is, but it's always calculated of the last four quarters, especially <clears throat> if the stock went down. We will see here, for example, PBR was also on uh, quite different price level, almost $16, and it always changes also the uh, amount of uh, the dividend will be, what will be paid out. And especially here in this, we can see the change of the last five years in this column. But it's very important to understand these facts of dividends, but we also need to know what else um, is important for dividends and there's a very important uh, thing is the reinvestment especially if you use interactive broker or i mean should be also available with other brokers you can choose between cash payout or a reinvestment but here for reinvestment it's only ib llc what means ib us canada and uk clients uh, who can choose reinvestment everybody wants who's using ib ireland is not able to use this we can only choose cash payout, so there's uh, no other choice what you can do in your client portal. That's the first thing, and I think dividends, it's uh, very important to create a passive income, especially if you choose the cash payout. And the next step is the tax, as most of you will invest maybe in dividend titles from the US. You also need to make sure that you fill out a DB, a w 8 ben form that classifies you as a non-US um, citizen because normally dividends, that's also very important to know, in the US have a tax of 30% and as long as there's a treatment between um, the US and your country, you can reduce this uh, tax of 30% depending in which country you are. You can also check this in the list or leave a comment. We will give you all the details um, here for tax and how to handle it also in the client portal of IB. So it's important to understand these facts and now we want to go a little bit deeper in our TradeStation platform. We had ex-dividend day, we had the payout, we had the tax and we also had 
the reinvestment of dividends what you can choose and now for example we want to show you here a screening with different things what we created very simple scan criteria so you want to see all stocks with a yield over four percent you can also choose it higher um, and a minimum volume what will be traded in the stock per day so that you don't have um, such a small not liquid um, um, stocks here and then we have an overview of all us stocks with dividends let's check how many in total we will have here yeah you can see it's quite a as you can see it's quite a big amount 640 stocks in the us have a yield over four percent and if we select now the biggest ones we just have to sort them and Russell Yarrow PBR what we have also in our radar screen it's on second place there's also class A stocks but if we go down we will have also a few symbols you might know for example we have medical properties trust what also is in our radar screen included it says 11 percent yield almost 30 cents per quarter what it will pay out and the next one is coming in a few days on the 15th of march the payout will be on the 13th of april and all these details if you don't use trade station securities platform you will also find here in finness we already opened mpw with the information in finness and we can see here exactly the same 11% is uh, the dividend per year and like I said it's always calculated on the actual price the payout if we just make a small calculation if we take 4 times 29 cents we will have here a yearly payout um, of dividend of $1.16 and this in relation to the price at the moment of ten dollar fifty then you can already see that's around the eleven percent of course it will be much different when the price will be at 20 or 21 then it will be only half and that's why sometimes this yield is quite high if we check it for another symbol here set i am you can see it came from 70 dollars a few months ago now it's only 20 that's why the yield is here bigger in total than the value what we have now at the moment. That's why you always need to check this and also the volume and all the details about the company itself. But all the stocks which are really paying constantly a good dividend is um, very helpful to understand. It's not only good for you to create a passive income. At the end, it also shows the motivation of investors who are not running after every new hype there's also from the director a long-term perspective to keep people or to investors in the company itself so dividends are guaranteeing to arrive in the investors account when they are paid out and they can no longer be agreed upon as long as the investor uh, as he remains as an investor so there's a many good signs and good things about stocks who pay out the dividends and especially for long time, long term buy and hold you uh, investors, it's a very good way to create a passive income. And if you want to do this on top with stocks and uh, with options and covered call or short put options, you can even generate more than this 11%. And the best example is MPW, the 11% on dividends. I think minimum the same amount you can earn on top of it with premium of options for all details about options check the description and our website or the video here in the corner so you can learn more how to start and implement options in your normal stock portfolio yeah i hope we showed you some really good stocks interesting stocks with a high yield of the dividends everything else you will find also below in the description and like I said in the beginning, make sure to subscribe to our channel so, don't you, so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao.